One thing you'll learn about talking to farmers, and it doesn't matter where they're farming or who they are, one thing that'll always come out with the farmers is passion for farming. Um, I've had a passion for farming tilapia for the last nearly 30 years. Um, I went into the industry straight from school, went overseas to Scotland to study, and have now, over the last uh, three decades, worked all over Africa, visiting some fantastic places, developing farms. Welcome to Raidawi Fish Farms uh, in Muldersdrift, Johannesburg. This is our 40 by 10 meter greenhouse uh, system where we house the farm in a box, uh, ready to farm fish farming systems, and also where we produce our fingerlings for supply to our farmers. We've developed farm in a box um, so that we can get uh, small scale farmers started and producing uh, fish within their local communities. So the farm in a box system uh, is a, a culmination of, of uh, research and development and uh, ingenuity over the last few years and we've put that into a, a complete and ready to farm fish system that allows a small scale farmer to start with a, a 10,000 litre uh, tilapia farming system which will allow him to produce uh, 500 fish a month and therefore he can not only feed his own family but also supply limited quantities of fish into the community. Um, the system is designed to operate pretty much on its own. Uh, it, it requires very uh, simple and practical knowledge to be transferred in terms of operating the system, flushing out the filters and obviously the, 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 the feed tables and feeding the fish to get them to grow successfully. The, the species available for, for uh, tilapia farming in South Africa are, are basically your, your Mozambique tilapia, Oreochromis mozambicus, uh, which occurs in the, most of the rivers flowing to the east of, of South Africa from the high felt, uh, your rooibos kerpa or your tilapia rendali, and recently um, the importation of Oreochromis niloticus, which is the fish that comes from the Nile River, has been allowed uh, into the country and we've imported that stock because of the genetic uh, selection that's occurred over the last uh, 20 years. We're able to get fish now that, that have been selected for high growth rates, body shape, color, and by using this stock and farming them in our, in our farm in a box systems, our farmers have a competitive advantage in terms of, of the growth rates of these species. Tilapia fingerlings are stocked into the farm in a box system at about 20 grams, um, and this would be um, about three, three months uh, from hatching from egg. From a 20 gram fish to get that uh, fish to an edible plate sized fish, which could be anything from 150 to 350 grams, would take uh, between four and six months. Um, we've seen in the market that uh, you know, a plate sized fish of around 150 grams, which is a sizable portion of protein on, for a meal, is being accepted into the market. The benefits of, of running a, a fish farm on a, on a small scale farm is that you're able to produce very high levels of production off of a very small area of land, uh, 400 square meters. Um, we also recycle all of our water, or most of our water, and so your water use and also our energy use is, uh, is very low. Um, each of our systems runs on uh, less than 200 watts of power, which is the equivalent of running two light bulbs. The waste water from these fish farming systems can be recovered 100% and put onto open land vegetable crops or greenhouse uh, vegetable crops or in certain circumstances even um, growing hydroponics. Rodawi Fish Farms are implementing a, a training and mentorship uh, program where farmers would be allocated a single farm in a box system on the farm and they would run that tank um, when they're available either during the week or, or weekends and run it through a full four month production cycle. Whilst going through that cycle they'll get all the theoretical training plus they would learn the hands-on and practical skills. The ultimate goal for Radawi Fish Farms is, is two things. One is to develop the small scale farmer and to get him involved in the industry at a, at a very low level of investment and risk um, and also um, just to be able to provide fish that are farmed locally to be sold and consumed within local communities. 